Well, hello, Prey and Shear Warriors. I don't know why. I guess I adjust my computer when I'm doing other things. And then it's not adjusted for this. Okay. Well, I hope you had an awesome Monday. Well, I did. I got a lot of things accomplished. And what I was thinking about today, I actually woke up with this song playing in my living room called The Creed um, by Hillsong. And so it is about the Holy Spirit. And I will be right back. Excuse me one second. And I'm sorry I was late. Sorry, I went and got my music. I left my, I took my music with me today. Um, I took this to entertain my son today. Okay, so anyway, I want to talk to you about God the Father. Um, Jesus the Son, Christ the Son, that's how the lyrics go, Christ the Son, and um, the Holy Spirit, our God three in one. Now, I'm going to scoot that back a little bit. I can't see my other camera. Okay. So, I wanted to just kind of look up some scriptures about, you know, the Holy Trinity about God, you know, things that God is to me, what I believe God is to me, and what I believe Jesus is to me, and what I believe the Holy Spirit is to me, just some attributes that to me they embody. And um, then invite comments for what what you think, you know, I really, um, I really invite um, more comments, more interaction through these videos. Okay. Well, I have um, I have yarn balls falling on my head and my camera. It can do different effects. So tonight I have yarn balls. I don't even know what that means, but I just thought it was different. Okay, well, let's jump into prayer. And uh, I'm sorry I had to go and get my music, but I really wanted to listen to some music tonight. I have some really good songs on here. I don't have, I didn't add that one. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and pray. Like I said, I hope you had a wonderful day. And, uh, we will look up some scriptures in a minute. God, we just come to you and we are thankful, God, that you are our Father, you are our Creator, our Sustainer, our Protector, God. We are so thankful that you are that and so much more and that you love us and you care for us, God. We just pray, God, that um, you would open our hearts and our minds to what you want to teach us tonight, God. That you would be with the sick, that you would heal their bodies, 
that for the lost you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth and that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they can be saved. We pray for the prodigals to come home. We pray for all the disasters for people's needs to be met, God. And we pray for all the people that are um, are uh, have had family members pass away. We pray for peace, comfort, and strength. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, I had a check on my friend. I want to pray also for my friend later. I'm kind of worried about her. I haven't heard from her. And I am not real good once I get up from here. Sometimes I forget to do the things that I thought I was going to do. Okay. Let me turn the volume up a little bit more on that. Okay. So this is the song that um, I woke up with this song playing in my living room. My husband had already left for work and he sometimes turns Christian music on for Seth. If Seth's already up, sometimes he goes ahead and feeds him for me, which is really nice. And so this was one of those mornings and I was resting very well and my hip was not hurting. And so I heard this song and it made me start to think about okay what do I believe about the Holy Trinity what do I believe so I'm gonna read to you what I wrote this morning I woke up hearing this song in message this morning by Hillsong I love the lyrics of this song and this is what I believe this is our creed as Christians I believe in God our Father I believe in Christ the Son I believe in the Holy Spirit our God is three in one I believe in the resurrection, that we will rise again, for I believe in the name of Jesus. So that's just part of the lyrics. All of the lyrics are very powerful in this song. I'm sorry, I have a little itch. Um, so I love, I love the live video, too, that I shared today from Israel. Our, our Messianic brothers and sisters praising and worshiping the Holy Trinity. What do you believe today? This is what I believe, and there is scripture in God's word to back it up. I believe also that Jesus is coming soon, but we will only see him for an instant. It will be so quickly, and so many will be gone. We all need to be ready for this instant. In an instant, all bodies will be healed, all brokenness removed, and only perfection for eternity. All worldly struggles removed for so many to enter into a place of perfection surrounded by only beauty and reunited with our loved ones forever to live surrounded by peace love and joy forever this is what I believe heaven will be and so much more what do you look forward to in heaven put in the comments I haven't checked to see if anybody put anything in the comments also look forward to seeing the true face of Jesus like all the pictures and everything I don't feel like that is really what Jesus looks like so I look forward to seeing Jesus face to face and see his real face his true face and to be reunited with our Holy Creator and sustainer of all and the Holy Spirit what a glorious day it will be we will live forever with kingdom family in perfect harmony until that instant, there is so much for us to do. We must be sharing God's truth, the gospel of Jesus, and be walking in obedience and truth, following the statutes of God and His Word. Is Jesus your Savior today? If not, call upon the name of Jesus and be saved now. Do not wait. We don't know when the glorious appearing of Jesus comes. Jesus is the only path to heaven and forgiveness of sin. Time is short. The time is now to turn back to the one true God. God wants none to perish. John 3, 16 through 21. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved today. Admit that you are a sinner. Ask for forgiveness. Believe that Jesus is God's one and only Son. 
that came to save the world through his death, burial, and resurrection. Confess Jesus as your Savior and Lord of your life. Invite him into your heart. Leave the old, receive the new. Okay, so part of that at the end, I just copy and paste every day. Most of this, I type on my phone with my one finger. I don't, I don't use all my fingers to type with. So with my one finger, I type all this. But my phone too, uh, if there's a word that I normally use, it will suggest it. So sometimes I'm just picking words. Okay. Well, let's get into our lesson about what I believe and why. So that was kind of like my preface of what I believe is sharing that song called the Creed, which is also, what else is it called? This I Believe. This I Believe, the Creed by Hillsong. Awesome song. I love it. Okay. So let's get our Bibles out. And let's get busy. I don't know. I don't really like to watch my live video like that. Okay. I like to do it live. I don't like to watch it while I'm doing it. Okay. So let's talk about God. This is what I believe about God. God is our creator. God created everything. God created the heavens and the earth. God created um, the universe. He created all the planets. He created this planet. He created all the people on the planet. He created all the animals. He created everything. But this part of creation talks about creating men. Men and women. And I'm going to start in 26. I have 27, but I like this about 26. Because it shows that the Trinity was at creation. Jesus was at creation. The Holy Spirit was at creation. So when God said, Let us make man in our own image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. He created him. Male and female he created them. So according to God, there are two genders, male and female. And I believe everything that is printed in this book. I believe this Bible, cover to cover. I believe that it's God's breathed word. And um, I believe it. I think things have gotten distorted. Okay. So God is creator of all things. So he created all things. And he created all things in six days and he rested on the seventh and he spoke things into existence he would speak it and it would happen that is how powerful God is God spoke everything that you see the Sun the moon the the grass the trees the bees, the ants, the cats, the dogs, the cattle, the people, he spoke into existence. That's how powerful he is. Okay, and so the next part, well first of all, I'm sorry, I jumped to the scripture. So these are the things that when I think about God, these are the things, these are the attributes that I think of and what he is to me. He is my creator. He is my sustainer. He is my protector, my provider, my shelter, my everlasting father, and he is God Almighty. So those, those are the, the attributes that I think of when I think of God. Now he has many more. 
these are not all the attributes. And so if you can think of one that he is to you, then put it in the comments. Okay, we already looked up Genesis. Let's look up Nehemiah 9.21. I am not real sure where Nehemiah is. I know it's in the Bible. It's not one that I look up very often. But we'll just kind of flip through here and here it is. Okay, Nehemiah 9.21. 21. Okay. So I was just looking to see if we needed to read more. Okay, so starting uh, Nehemiah 9.21. Yea, forty years didst thou sustain them in the wilderness, so that they lacked nothing. Their clothes waxed not old, and their feet swelled not. Moreover, thou gavest them kingdoms and nations, and didst divide them into corners. So they possessed the land of Sihon, and the land of the king of Heshbon, and the land of Og, king of Bashan. Their children also multiplied. <laughs> they multiplied thou as the stars of heaven and broughtest them into the land concerning which thou hadst promised to their fathers that they should go in to possess it. So the children went in and possessed the land and thou subduest before them the inhabitants of the land, the Canaanites, and gavest them into their hands and with their kings and the people of the land that they might do with them as they would. So God sustained Israel those, those 40 years that they were wandering in the wilderness. He sustained them. He sustains us. He sustains us. He is in control over things that happen in our lives, things that happen around us, things that happen in our state, things that happen in the United States, things that happen all over the world, things that happen in the universe. God sustains it all. God created it all. He sustains it all. He has sustained it all for since He created it. And because God was before He created things. God was. He always has been. And so God, another thing that um, I found scripture for in Ephesians 1, 3 is that God is our everlasting Father. He is our everlasting Father. And that is going to be in Ephesians 1, 3. Ooh, the song's on that I can't be still to. It's nearly over. I was, must have been really into what I was talking about. Okay, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ, according as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestined us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ, to himself according to the good pleasure of his will. So God is our everlasting Father. He is the Father that has always been and will always be. Alright, well let's move on to Jesus. I didn't look up a lot of scriptures tonight because I want to start looking up less scriptures. Well, hello. You're not liking what's on the TV? Okay, I will be right back. I'm sorry, but I'm the only adult in the house. And um, I'm going to go find him something to watch. I'll be right back. Alright, come on. I'm not going to feed you right now. I'll feed you in a minute. Come on.
Okay, so sorry. All right, well, let's talk about Jesus. This is who Jesus is to me. Jesus is my Savior. Jesus is my Redeemer. Jesus is my Prince of Peace. Jesus is my Shepherd. Jesus is my King Jesus. And Jesus is my Healer. So those are the things that Jesus is to me. And so, uh, like I said, if you think of something that Jesus is to you that I didn't think of, then put it in the comments, please. Okay. So here's a few verses that I found. And I realize there are so many more verses that we could look up. But... I kind of wanted to limit it tonight. Okay, so as Savior, one of my favorite scriptures is, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Jesus is my savior. And I like that scripture. Jesus is my shepherd. And I like this scripture too. Of course, like I said, I like all of it. Um, I believe all of it. I don't know all of it. Um, I will never know everything in the Bible but the more that we read it the more that we do know about it okay so let's read Psalm 23 the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want he maketh me lie down in green pastures he leadeth me beside the still waters he restoreth my soul he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake yea though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Love Psalm 23. You talk about peace. Psalm 23 is where I go when I need peace. I go there. Okay, so, um, healer. Jesus is my healer. Uh, Mark 2, 5. Jesus healed so many people in the Bible. And he continues to heal now. Alright, that's not right. Mark 2, 5. Oh, maybe so. Okay. This is the story where the, the men took the roof apart and put their friend down through the roof. They couldn't get in the door. I'm just going to read this story. And again he entered into Capernaum after some days and it was noised that he was in the house and straightway many were gathered together insomuch that there was no room to receive them. No, not so much as about the door. And he preached the word unto them. And they come unto him, bringing one sick of the palsy, which was born of four. And when they could not come nigh unto him for the press, they uncovered the roof where he was. And when they had broken it up, they let down the bed wherein the sick of the palsy lay. When Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. So Jesus healed. And I mean, this is just one time. Jesus healed so much. But Jesus heals me too. Jesus heals me because 
There are three types of healing. There is emotional healing. Sometimes we need emotional healing. And sometimes we need physical healing in our body. But we all the time need spiritual healing. And Jesus gives that. He gives all three. He gives emotional. He gives physical in our body. And he gives spiritual in our spirit. So he is my healer. So let's move on to the Holy Spirit. Um, the Holy Spirit is my comforter. He is my discerner. He is my convictor. He is my confirmer. He is my... He is what moves my spirit. And He is my connector. Okay, so... Discerner, He gives me discernment about what is right and what is wrong and what I should do and what I shouldn't do. Um, discern where I need to find something in the Bible. He is my convictor. If I have sin, He convicts my spirit of sin. He is my, confer my confirmer. He gives me confirmation of things. And like it's so hard to describe this but when you're in a place and um, you feel the Holy Spirit moving he moves the Spirit inside you too connector he connects us with other believers we have a connection with other believers that we don't have with other people. And um, he connects me with music. I like music. I like praise and worship music. I like Christian music only. So I have, a, I have more of a connection with some songs than I do with others because I feel like more of them are spiritually charged than others. Okay, so let's look up some scriptures about the Holy Spirit. So He is our comforter. So in John 14, 26, this is Jesus speaking. He that loveth me not keepeth not my saying, and the word which ye hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. He helps us remember. He, he, um, where was that? He helps us discern. Um, my phone is ringing. Alright. My husband thinks I'm usually done by now. Um, and brings all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. Um, so he is our comforter. In Galatians 5.25, he's our connector. That was a hard one to find. I hope I, I hope I did a good job. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not be desirous of vainglory, provoking one another, envying one another. So we need to walk in the Spirit. When we walk in the Spirit, it's easier to treat people the way that we need to treat them. But if ye bite and devour one another, take heed that ye be not consumed one another. It's not quite what I was looking for. Um, OK, 
Okay, I don't see quite what I was looking for. Let me see if there's anything in here. Okay, well let's move on to he is the fruits of the spirit giver. <laughs> so he is the one that gives the fruits of the spirit, which is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And I can't read them out of the Bible because they're different words. And those are the ones that I've memorized. So I don't want to mess myself up. I have enough problems with John 3.16. So he gives us all those things. He gives us love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. We might have missed faithfulness. Okay, so now let's read Romans 8, because I think Romans 8 puts the Holy Trinity so beautifully. And then we'll be through after I read all 39 verses. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin condemned sin in the flesh that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the Spirit the things of the Spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit. If so be that the Spirit of God dwell in you. Now if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he, he is none of his. And if Christ be in you, one body is dead because of sin. But the Spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the Spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his Spirit that dwelleth in you. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live after the flesh. For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the Spirit do mortify, the deeds of the body you shall live for as many as are led by the Spirit of God they are the sons of God for ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear but ye have received the spirit of adoption whereby we cry Abba Father everlasting Father Abba Father the Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God and if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may also be glor also, we may be also glorified together. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestation of the sons of God. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who hath subjected the same in hope. 
because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves groan within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wit, the redemption of our body. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what man seeth, why doth he yet hope for? But if we hope for that wit that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our, in, our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray as for we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. For we know that all things work together for, me, for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called them, he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own Son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifieth. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died, yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, For thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. I love Romans 8. It just sums it all up and just shows you how God the Father, Jesus the Son, well, it's supposed to be Christ the Son, um, and the Holy Spirit work together in perfect unity and in perfection. And God is all of these. Jesus is all of these. The Holy Spirit is all of these. So three separate parts, but one perfect God Almighty that can do amazing things, things that we can't even imagine, miraculous things, so miraculous. So that is what I wanted to share tonight. And like I said, if you think of anything else that you would like to add, then please put it in the comments. All right, so I'm going to read to you my conversation this morning, my notes, my notes for this morning. Oh, I need to sneeze. I'm sorry. Um, I drove through the Cedar, Cedar, Cedar Alley today. And I did not take my allergy medicine this morning. Okay. Good morning, God. Good morning, child. 
I brought you a new day of mercies and blessings, new opportunities to share my truths and the gospel of Jesus with others, a new day to get your work done, child, a new day of my beautiful creation also. It was beautiful today. It's a beautiful day. I said, thank you, God, for a new day of mercies and blessings, new opportunities to share your truths and the gospel of Jesus another beautiful day of your creation and a new day to get things done God thank you for all of my blessings God I am thankful and grateful and so he said child focus on what you believe today and write out a list so that's what I did share what you believe get your things done and your job too let this be your focus today all else is under my control and my freedom fighters Listen only to my true messengers, and you will know them by their fruits, child. Use the discernment of the Holy Spirit to choose who to listen to and believe. There is so much circulating, some truth, some non-truth. I want my children to walk in the truth always, always believing the truth. Make a list, and it should be a short one. Follow these that follow me and speak truth. Some are meant to lead people away from me. Stay close, child, for much truth, ugly truth, surfaces this week. There are, there are ramped up wars this week and a huge upheaval of your government, too. The dominoes are going to fall one by one. All truth will be revealed. Your government leaders are making your government look foolish. They are laughing at your country, child. They think those leaders represent the majority of your government. The truth is that they represent a very small minority. The truth will be revealed. The finger of the scales will be removed soon. Walk in truth, child, and follow my teaching. Be obedient and receive blessings and rewards, child. Jesus is coming soon. More are arriving here every day. More souls have been added to. Keep sharing my truths and the gospel of Jesus, child. More need to come, and only I know who will or will not accept Jesus as their Savior, child. I see all that you are saying, God, so vividly. Other governments are laughing at our leaders and their wrong decisions. They have been fed untruths for years. I will follow your messengers, only God, and not others. I am ready for the truth and the glorious appearing of Jesus, too. I will be obedient in all that you ask of me. Thank you for meeting me today. I love you with my whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. Give my mama and daddy a hug, God. I love you, too, my child. Now go be obedient to me in all I ask today. Walk in truth, child. The reunion is soon, and it will be so glorious, but so fast, child. So fast. People need to be ready, child, now. And I said, Maranatha, God. So I'm ready to go. This phone is, the battery is running out. I'm going to have to put it on the charger later. Okay. So, let's see. How do we want to share the gospel tonight? I really like this song. We did the steps. Let's do this because it's not very long. Alright, so this is an invitation to God's heaven. Invitation to God's heaven. If you will, YouTube watchers, but why I put all these um, darn balls on here? I have no idea. Okay. So this is an invitation to God's heaven because it is God's heaven. It is not ours. So have you ever been invited? The time is now to respond to his invitation. Repent and turn to the one true God. And so these are the scriptures that go with this. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. 
Romans 3.10 For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 But God commandeth his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5.8 For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 6.23 Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come unto the Father but by me. John 14.6 That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Romans 10, 9 through 11. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans 10, 13. So when we receive Jesus as our Savior, we get the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit lives here. But also, our reward is heaven. So this is a scripture that goes with that. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them and be their God. Revelation 21, 2 through 3. Okay, so this is a prayer, a salvation prayer. The prayer itself is not what saves you. What saves you is um, admitting you're a sinner, believing who Jesus is, believing that he's God's one and only son, he came and died on the cross for our sins, he was buried for three days and rose from the dead and he ascended to heaven and um, confessing him as your Lord and Savior. Okay, so I will leave a space in here to where you have a uh, time to say this after me if you would like. So dear Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe that you are God's one and only Son. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. You were buried for three days and rose from the dead. I believe you ascended to heaven and are preparing a place for me. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and my life. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Clean my heart and help me to glorify you. In your name I pray. Amen. So if you said that prayer, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. You are now saved, sealed, and sanctified by God through Jesus, his son. You now have the Holy Spirit indwelling in you that will give you discernment, that will comfort you, that will lead and guide you. And um, also, if you want a closer relationship, with God then start in Matthew reading his word 
learn more about Jesus learn who Jesus was that one person that he healed he healed so many and performed so many miracles know who Jesus is pray to God every day pray to God for yourself for others praise him and thank him for all that he does in your life and um, listen to praise and worship music or listen to some type of Christian music that is about God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. So that's how we got started today was I was listening to a song that was about God the Father, Christ the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Alright, well it is time to, I don't know why I keep putting my Bible over here. It is time to do a blessing from God and to get off of here um, to go feed my child. I think he's hungry. All right. So in Numbers 6, 24 through 26, the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. We all need some peace. We all need some peace. So like I said, if there is an attribute of either God, Jesus, or the Holy Spirit that I didn't talk about, then please put it in the comments. And uh, maybe next time I talk about them, I will add that too. If you need prayer, put your name in the comments. If you got saved, put your name in the comments. I'd love to pray for you. Um, we are in this spiritual battle together until Jesus comes. And right now, we need to be sharing God's truth and we need to be sharing the gospel with as many people as we possibly can. That's why I do this. Um... The harvest is ready. The harvest is ready. The time of salvation is now. So don't keep waiting. We don't know when Jesus is going to appear in the sky. He is going to appear in the clouds. And in the twinkling of an eye, everyone's going to be gone. Everyone that is saved by the blood of Jesus is going to be gone going to happen so fast you're not going to have time to go oh Jesus by the time you say oh Jesus I want to be saved I'll, I'll be over so please do that now please 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 do that now okay well I am going to go ahead and pray God we just thank you and we just um, you are so mighty and so powerful God you are the righteous judge. You will judge all unrighteousness. But God, you are loving and compassionate and kind and patient. Wanting none to suffer. Wanting none to perish. God, we just pray that you would help us to have the boldness to share with others your truths and your, the gospel of Jesus. We pray that the Holy Spirit will draw those to Jesus so that they can be saved. We pray that their eyes and ears would be open to the truth. We pray for peace and unity and love and compassion to flow through our country and also all over the world, God. We pray for this crisis at the border, God. We pray that our borders will be closed except to people that must go in and out of the borders. But to all these people coming and bringing innocent children, God, please protect them. Help them to get back to their families. They need to be with their families, God. They need to be with their families. They need to make changes inside of their country. 
it's not that I'm heartless it's just that there's a lot of drugs there's a lot of human trafficking and there is so much more that is coming across our border too like terrorists that are not coming here I'm sure there are people that want to come and just raise their family here and enjoy America but America is being destroyed right now by its leaders and so really our country is not going to be much better than theirs before long so God we just pray for protection for these we pray that um, we pray for our border patrol and for all the people that are down at the border God we just pray for strength for them we pray for protection against COVID for them many people are flooding in the borders and not even getting tested for COVID so it's a mess God but God we know that you are aware and that you are in control and we trust you with everything God we trust you with everything that we have and God I want to lift up Josie to you and her sister and her co-worker God I just pray for healing for them I lift up my friend Janet who had a hard day today God I just pray that you would give her peace and just help her to rest in you and God we just pray for all the many things all the many things that need to change we pray for a Jesus movement that no one can stop we know the harvest is ripe God send us where you want us to go God we thank you again and in Jesus name we pray Amen oh hey my friend Josie oh he's sick too God we just pray for uh, Mr. Mike also and I thank you that Josie was able to come we pray for Mr. Mike that you would heal his body God and in Jesus name we pray amen are you feeling better my friend I was going to contact you tonight unless I forgot I was going to contact you tonight and see how you're doing I was going to last night and I forgot are you feeling better Josie Are you feeling better, Josie? Oh. Are you feeling better, though? I didn't see you at church yesterday. So are you feeling better? Oh good. I'm glad. Praise the Lord that you're feeling better. What about your sister and uh, your co-worker? I've been praying for them too. Yes. I'm fixing to get off now, so just call me, okay? Okay. Well, I came to do everything that I feel like God asked me to do tonight. 
so um god bless you all and your families abundantly and have an awesome rest of your night and an awesome tomorrow which is tuesday the 16th and um <laughs> much love i'm learning how to do this better much love and cyber hugs. Good night.